Good Saturday, November 20th. We are looking at the last weekend before Thanksgiving and some sunshine early this morning. You can see it here off I-5 at Richards Boulevard, but taking a look here at 80 at Rockland, you are seeing some areas here that are under some foggy conditions and not everywhere seeing fog, but we are seeing it in patchy spots. Of course, there's a lot of open land out here closer to the Rockland area at Rockland Road and I-80, and we're seeing other areas with dense fog further south for the San Joaquin Valley. Take a look. The de dense fog advisory in effect till 11 a.m. for most spots here in the Central Valley. We're really starting to see it mostly from Turlock south with dense fog through Bakersfield and Grapevine area. But we're still seeing patchy fog in other zones as well. Areas in the foothills still see some fog, as well as portions heading over toward the coastal range, Napa areas. And then fire weather warning, that's in effect for areas of Southern California. So they're going to get some strong winds whipping up from Sunday into Monday, coming in out of the east. So Santa Ana winds creating fire danger further south. Also some more dense fog advisory in effect near the San Diego area until 9 a.m. But closer to home, the Sacramento Valley spots, some areas are seeing fog, but what is happening is the winds are playing a part in actually starting to disperse most of that fog, especially through the Sacramento area right now. We're seeing sunshine. Those winds have been picking up overnight and we will see some winds about 10 to 15 miles per hour by the afternoon. So expect there to be some strong winds as well as some wind gusts. And for the high Sierra, the winds also picking up. We are looking at that sunshine in the Sacramento Valley for the next really week ahead, but that's also giving us clear skies. What that will do is create some very cold temperatures overnight. The fog is setting in for the San Joaquin Valley primarily, although we can't rule out some patchy spots near open grassland. The temperatures overnight are going to be pretty cold with the clear skies, upper 30s and low 40s. So let's talk about the winds. The winds are going to pick up again 10 to 15 miles per hour through the valley and primarily north areas of Sacramento all the way up through Redding. We're getting those winds out of the north as well as winds out of the east for the high Sierra zones. As we move through the early afternoon hours, those are going to be the strongest winds for the valley. And then we start to see the strong winds picking up for the high Sierra overnight to the early morning hours of Sunday. You're also seeing that strong wind, strong wind gusts into areas of the coastal range as well. So we are seeing those uh, winds picking up. That's going to limit any kind of fog from forming, just dispersing everything completely, giving us clear skies, but also giving us some cold temperatures overnight. As we start rolling through the week, we don't expect to see any strong winds really in the forecast just yet. Let's take a look at when we could potentially see any wet weather. Well, we're getting a few clouds here and there, some partly sunny skies or so as we start moving into Tuesday, but that's going to bring us some rain to the north. The Pacific Northwest getting hit with the storm system. A long front here pushing off the coastline will affect areas of the northwest corner of the state. And then take a look at that pink color there in that white zone. That is snow. We are seeing a mix of snow and slush here along Interstate 5. If you are heading up for Thanksgiving, maybe you are leaving on Tuesday morning and you're making your trip a little early. Do be aware the overnight hours, the coldest portions in the early morning hours could create some slick roads there. So just be careful if you are heading up. This is a I-5 up through the Siskiyou Mountain Pass into Medford Ashland areas where we could see some icier conditions in the early morning hours. Temperatures 30 to 32 degrees, so right around freezing point. That pink zone is where it gets a little rough. You see that winter mix happening. Now we do expect less than about an inch of snow through that zone, and then it kind of just pushes off by the afternoon hours. Things get much better. Temperatures rise up to about 41 degrees through that pass. You want to hit those marks and those passes when temperatures are rising and you do not get stuck in some of that snowfall. All right, taking a look as we start moving past Thanksgiving and you're looking at that Sunday the 28th, we get some partly sunny skies. The next chance of rain looks like it's still going to head up to the Pacific Northwest, so nothing to worry about once again for areas of California when it comes to driving and some of that Thanksgiving traffic that a lot of people do on the Saturday and Sunday after Thanksgiving. Mid to low 60s for the lower foothills for your Saturday upper 50s, Pollock Pines, 48 degrees in Truckee, South Lake Tahoe at about 45 degrees. Now we will see temperatures here dropping as low as 45 for Saturday, but then we'll also see those mid 50s into Monday, mid 40s once again on Wednesday. Overnight lows pretty chilly in those low 20s. So definitely going to be cold up there, but luckily we're not seeing any ice forming just yet. No real precipitation to do so. Mid 60s for Vallejo, Oakland, San Francisco, Antioch could get closer to 70 in Fairfield, but primarily the upper 60s, seeing the mid 60s to low 60s in San Joaquin Valley. Also looking at the mid 60s for Sacramento Valley, could see upper 60s there near Vacaville for Saturday. Mid to low 60s through the week as we start approaching Thanksgiving, we're getting into the upper 50s and low 60s.